coming soon to theaters. May I say just one thing? Yeah, um, uh, yes, Mother, one thing. Go ahead. Thank you. Deborah, you're going to lose your husband. And you will never find someone as good. That's it. Oh! Drive carefully. Well, you've done it again, Mother. Made me hate myself. Lately, your low self-esteem is just good common sense. From James L. Brooks, the Academy Award-winning director of Terms of Endearment. Broadcast news, and as good as it gets. Good morning! Hey! John Klasky is a loving father. You don't have to get up yet, but are you thinking seriously about it? Yeah. Okay. A world-class chef. Don't even know what to root for. Thought a one-star gets me nauseous. Oh, with four, there's no place to go, but... Oh, my God! You lost one of your stars! Three and a quarter stars. Yeah, that would be perfect. It would mean you're good, but not good enough to feel bad that you're not great. And a man whose wife... I helped run a commercial design company up until four months ago when it was downsized to zip, and now I'm a full-time mom. Gulp. Double gulp. ...is struggling to find herself. No! You as bad at me as mom because of what happened? You may say. No. Good guy. Good guy. Hi. I didn't know Deb found somebody. You're gonna help out with the house and the kids? Solo español. You work here and you don't speak any English at all. Oh, mother, it's not even noon. Really? Embarrassing. Columbia Pictures presents... Surprise! New clothes! You got an eight? You're gonna lose that weight. You're gonna look beautiful. For a second, she thought all her problems with her mother had been solved. A story about the one job... Why is everything so confusing? That's yours for life. This is the job. These are the decisions. When to push them, when to back them. Worrying about your children is sanity. And being that sane can drive you nuts. You were an alcoholic and wildly promiscuous woman during my formative years so that I'm in this fix because of you. You have a solid point, dear. But right now, the lessons of my life are coming in handy for you. Speak. Try it on. And say the words <laughs> that no one else will ever say. There's some mistakes you cannot risk when you have children. Go to your husband. Do I need a little makeup? You need a hose. I'm gonna show you love Adam Sandler, Taya Leone, and introducing Paz Vega. Listen to your mother. She knows it all. Okay. <laughs> Nana. I'm gonna Spanglish. show you love in every language. That's where I come in. Excuse me. Uh, by asking if it was diet, she took it as you trying to imply that you thought she was fat. Go get a red rose, get a regular Coke, tell her she's everything you never knew you always wanted. Any problems, give me a call. From Columbia Pictures. Did you ever hear this guy they call the date doctor? Urban myth. Really? Absolutely. I was told you were the guy that helps guys like me. Nobody's perfect. That's pathetic. Pathetic. But one man. My name is Alex Hitchens. Call me Hitch. Can help you come close. Let me give you my number. Do you have a pen? Yes, I do. Great. He can show you the moves. Elbows, six inches from the waist, 90 degree angles. This is where you live. This is home. When you see somebody you know, I don't want none of this. Don't bite your lip. Stop biting your lip. None of this. Okay, see, now that's what I need to be learning. Don't ever do that again. He can teach you the rules. It's really necessary. Have you seen your back? But this February, the guy with all the answers. Whenever I'm around, I just can't get my stuff right. I saw that going differently in my mind. Will have some questions of his own. Is it me or is it just a little itchy in here? Wow, are you okay? Well, I know it's happening. You think that I'm in a stressful state because I'm trying to make a good impression? No, I think you have food allergies. Oh. 
Will Smith. It is not that serious. Oh! Hitch, the cure for the common man. Eight out of ten women believe that the first kiss will tell them everything that they need to know. The secret is to go 90% of the way and hold. Now show me the magic. Show me the magic. What the hell was that? I'm showing you the magic. I... No, I said come 90 and then I come 10. You don't go the whole 100. You overzealous son of a... Now playing in theaters. In this friendly little town, there lived an enchanting family named the Cranks. Every year, they would celebrate Christmas together. Merry Christmas! Until the year their daughter Blair left for the holidays. This won't be the same. Then, Luther got a brilliant idea. We skip Christmas. We'll go bask in the Caribbean sun. We skip Christmas? What's up? No Christmas Eve party? Run away from Christmas, huh? A lot of the neighbors are pretty upset. <laughs> They do not get frosty. Nora, stop Woo! the car. Talk to me, Nora. Woo! Please. Woo! Hurry. If you see my baby, please send her home. Hello? Mom? Dad? I changed my mind and I'm coming home for Christmas. What? Based on the best-selling novel, Skipping Christmas. We have only 12 hours, so we're going to perform a little Christmas miracle. Ah! Are you getting the ham? Ah! You get the treat. Yeah. Tim Allen. Your face. It's like it's frozen. I got a Botox injection today. Luther. <laughs> and Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Christmas with the Cranks. What are you doing, Luther? Whoa! Easy! Whoa! <laughs> soon to VHS and DVD. Mom? I'm Telly. Sam's mom. I'm Ash. They don't seem to want us around. <laughs> no. Hey, what's the occasion? You. Why'd you change the picture? I didn't change anything. You replaced the book with an empty book. You erased our son. They're, they were always playing. Sam! Sam! Sam Ferretta, do you know him? Where is my son? Billy, you never had a son. Sometimes some people actually invent entire alternate lives with imagined friends, imagined families, and children. Stop it! Why are you doing this? Why are you him up? Jim. I'm sorry. We know each other. It's me. Who are you? Ash, please. You remember me? We have never met. I do not know you. Lauren and Sam were friends. I never had a kid. your daughter's room. Wait! I remember! I remember! Who could erase our lives? Who could do that? Please tell me no one will know that you spoke to us. I swear to you. 
hell, isn't he? Now available on VHS and DVD. So we go into NBC, we tell them we got an idea for a show about nothing. Exactly. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. I think you may have something here. <laughs> have you ever seen Elaine dance? Elaine dance? It's more like a full body dry heave set to music. You're gonna be the first pirate. <laughs> well, I don't wanna be a pirate. I was in the pool! I don't even know where the bubble boy lives. Crab bisque to go. So you think you're sponge worthy? Serenity now! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Jerry? Ah! Oh. Wow. You don't have to say wow, I know it's wow. Seinfeld is now on DVD. I need some oxygen. This is major. Get the first three seasons of Seinfeld on two separate volumes. Get out! Volume 1. All 18 groundbreaking episodes from the first two seasons. You ready for the second one? I'm very impressed with the first one. And Volume 2. The 22 episodes of Season 3. Save your life! Save each volume on four jam-packed DVDs. I say we get them. With hours of special features from the creative talents behind the show, including exclusive interviews with Jerry Seinfeld, Larry Davis, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Michael Richards, Jason Alexander, and more. Both releases feature the original one to two minute longer NBC Network versions, not seen since their original broadcast runs. Remastered in high definition. You had sex with the cleaning woman on your desk? <laughs> the show that found funny in nothing. 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 Is now the amazing DVD that has everything. You have no idea. I have some idea. With almost 13 hours of exclusive extras on each volume. I think I saw all the fly. The revealing documentary. And Larry said, this is what the show should be. I said, what? He said, just, you know, making fun of stuff. Notes about nothing. Never before televised deleted scenes. We could be a great couple. Of course, you're married. Hilarious bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> Good laugh, so I can do it again. <laughs> Exclusive stand-up footage of Jerry Seinfeld. Behind-the-scenes interviews. I couldn't wait to do it because it's like doing a play. Exclusive commentaries. The Chinese restaurant episode was so unique. Seinfeld, fall! The original NBC promos and trailers, and much more. The idea is to combine the this and the that. Also, keep your eyes peeled for the incredible Seinfeld re-gift set, containing both volumes and an exclusive limited edition script with handwritten notes from Larry David. This could be a pretty funny idea. Seinfeld is now on DVD. The wait is over. I feel like just walking over there and taking some food off of somebody's plate. There's 50 bucks in it for you if you do it. For 50 bucks? I put my face in this soup and blow. To protect America's wealthiest heiresses. I think this babysitting gig sucks. The FBI's <laughs> finest. I want to be what the action is. Okay, Blackie Chan. Will have to become them. I look like freaking Shrek. From the director of Scary Movie. Ah! They're going. Ah! You damn G-strings are killing me. Where no man's gone before. What's up, money? You got a problem? Yo, hold my poodle. <laughs> you want some of this? I'll take the both of you. White chicks. Special features. Skip to the end, will you? How do I kill it? Get in on two disc DVD today. I am vindicated. It's the blockbuster album of the summer, Spider-Man 2. Featuring 15 amazing tracks, including Vindicated, performed by Dashboard Confessional, and Ordinary, performed by Train. Music 
from and inspired by Spider-Man 2. The new hit soundtrack in stores now. Yeah.